Hey everybody, this is Greg from Parrick of TechCrunch. I'm Ryan Lawler. And we're checking out the brand new Xbox One from Microsoft. It's uh, the latest generation of game console. Uh, Sony has one as well, but you know, this is kind of cool new experience for the whole Microsoft ecosystem and how they are navigating this. It borrows a lot from um, you know, Microsoft Windows um, in the sort of way that they have the tiles around and everything. Um, so yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, another thing that's kind of cool about the new um, user interface is that, so say you're, you're flipping around, going through your home screen, but then you want to go back to the game you were just in, it, it's just kind of running there in the background. So I can jump back in here and I'm back to getting, getting your ass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then if you want to go back to your home screen, it's just a click away. Uh, and you can go into your other games or, or what else. It's not like the the Xbox 360 where you're either in a game or you're in the home screen. Right. It's not two completely different experiences. The home screen is always you know, running in the background there. Right, and that's one of those th features where if you get a Skype call or you, know, sure. you want to watch something on TV, you can always just pick up later. Yeah. What do you think? I, I like it. So the, a few things, like number one, like you, know, you have basically this really kind of personalized experience if you slide over to you know to the to the left it'll show you your pins which you can set you can basically you know decide all the things that are most important to you right now we've got you know netflix hulu plus a game skype lots of good stuff and it keeps a record of sort of you know everything that you've done recently um, so it's really easy to get back to it what do you think about the new controller uh, I like it. It uh, fits really well in the hand. You were saying a few things about like it's really easy to sort of control the triggers. Yeah, so I feel like they took the Xbox 360 controller design, which is already really, really good, right. and just perfected it. And it's a lot of little things that you only notice after a, a little bit of playing. So they've tapered the trigger here. So when your finger's up on the trigger and you're hitting that, your other fingers are, are kind of overlapping these shoulder buttons here. Mm -hmm. So with, you can't, it's hard to do accidentally, but you can still trigger the shoulder button if, without completely switching your finger. And it's, it's nice, especially when you're playing like a game like Call of Duty or something like that, and the shoulder button is probably throwing a grenade. You don't have to take your finger completely off the trigger. Right. Just, just tap it real quick with your knuckle. Right, and right. It's, it's, it's lots of little things like that. Besides that, it's, it's nice, it's light, it's very well built. Mm -hmm. So I like the controller a lot. One of the things that they built into Kinect this time was a lot better voice control, yeah. which, I mean, anyone who's tried to use connect voice control, it was, uh, it was actually a really frustrating experience. But now you basically just say, you know, Xbox, go to my stuff. And it basically switches to my profile. Yeah. Um, Xbox, go to Hulu Plus. And it instantly launches Hulu Plus, um, which is something that didn't really work last time around. And it recognizes your voice, which is really nice. Yeah. Um, and who's actually speaking. Yeah, I'm still not entirely sold on voice control. Like, the Connect is definitely a lot better, but after using it for a couple of days, you start to realize like, no matter how accurate it is, the controller is gonna be so much faster. True, true. So. And sometimes it doesn't pick up on things. Like, yeah. we have it, a problem. It, it definitely is more accurate, but there still is a, a fairly high fail rate. Yeah, yeah. Say you're on a screen, it has an icon for both store and internet explorer two words that sound kind of similar, and you mm -hmm. say, go to Internet Explorer. It has to pop up this little thing that said, hey, did you say store or did you say Internet Explorer? So it's getting a little bit better at detecting those weird little discrepancies, those catching when it might be failing, but it still does it enough that it's noticeable. So yeah, in terms of services, um, not everything has launched yet, because we're still a couple of days before the actual console launch, and so I'm told that some of the people, like Netflix is still working on getting those last minute certification fixes in. Mm -hmm. But Hulu Plus is up there right now, and it works quite well. It, it's, it's Hulu Plus, as we've seen it on a bunch of other consoles at this right. point. Uh, but then there's Skype, which lets you do like this really high definition video calling, and that's actually really cool. If you've got two people that are both on Xbox Ones, uh, each of you can kind of walk around the room, and the camera, without moving, kind of zooms in on the person who's talking. Mm -hmm. And then if there's multiple people in the room, like you can each talk at different times, and it'll, it'll zoom into that respective person. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Incoming call. Hold X for details. Answer. Hi, Felicia. Yeah, I see you. Right. Wait, here I want to walk back here, and it'll follow me.
See? So one of the other cool things is um, there's a new live TV experience. Yeah. And uh, it's cool because you can plug your cable box into the Xbox and then plug your Xbox into the TV. And then your Xbox acts as a controller for, you know, actually navigating different channels. Sure. You can, you know, say which channel you want to go to. You can say which program you want to watch. Um, and it'll just, like, automatically bring it up which yeah. is really cool. I'm a, uh, a terrible, horrible person and completely cut out my cable years ago, so I didn't even get to use that. Did you check it out at all? Uh, I saw it at a demo last week yeah. um, with the Xbox crew, and so it was actually, it worked really well. I was surprised. Yeah. Would you use it as opposed to just switching over to your cable and flipping through that way? I think so, yeah, because uh, generally the grid isn't quite as horrible as your <laughs> typical you know, cable box grid. Yeah. Um, and you know, being able to control by voice a little bit um, is easier, especially if you know which channel you want to go to or which program you want to watch. Sure. So what about the negatives? We've talked about a lot of the things that are new and interesting or that we like. Yeah. Uh, what's missing? Um, one thing, and I might be the only person in the world that actually does this, is I like to put videos on a USB drive that, uh, from my computer and plug them into my Xbox 360 mm -hmm. and watch them there. You can't do it here. There's, there's no uh, local video playback, at least not yet. You can't play things from a USB drive, which is really weird. They have Netflix in there. They have Hulu in there. They have all the streaming services. Mm -hmm. But you can't just plug in a USB drive and start playing videos from there. Kind of a bummer. So admittedly, it's early, and it's sort of day one. But do you run out, and do you buy an Xbox One right now? To be honest, I wouldn't worry too much about getting one on day one. I more or less live through my Xbox 360. Mm -hmm. And while there's lots of new stuff here, it's, a lot of it feels like it's kind of slightly better mm -hmm. than what is already on the Xbox 360. It's not like previous console generations where you boot it up and it's just this mind-blowing experience of, oh my god, look at these graphics. Oh my god, look at these services that are available to me. It's a mild evolution. But that's just day one. You know, So maybe in a couple months, it'll be amazing and I'll have all these services up and running and everything will be you know perfect and top-notch and it'll be completely mind-blowing as an experience but right now it's kind of just a a nifty new toy see for me I don't have an Xbox 360 yeah. and so I think this is really cool and yeah and, absolutely. I'd, and I would you know definitely get this if I don't already own one of the present generation game consoles um, so yeah I think I actually might get one for myself this holiday season <laughs>